Namaste and welcome back to our continuing journey through the Avadhuta Gita. Today we continue this profound journey with Chapter 3. I hope you enjoy it. Chapter 3, Part 1, Verse 1 The distinction of quality and absence of quality does not exist in the least. How shall I worship Shiva, the Absolute, who is devoid of attachment and detachment, who is of the form of ether, omniform, beyond illusion and all-pervading? This Shiva could then said to be like space, or void, yet beyond both. Shiva, the Absolute, is ever without white and other colors. The effect and cause are also the Supreme Shiva. Thus I am the pure Shiva, devoid of all doubt. O beloved friend, how shall I bow to the Self in myself? In that I do not exist in reality. I myself am no Self, yet there is awareness of Self as awareness in itself. I am thus nothing at all but pure consciousness, existing as awareness. But the evidence of my existence is not known until there is consciousness. The objective cosmos is nothing at all. Yet when I, as awareness, become aware of the consciousness, there is then the cosmos existing in awareness. Here it can be seen that the cosmos and consciousness are non different because all that is known as existing in the cosmos is known to exist only by the consciousness. However, pure awareness exists in itself, of itself. There is no object there. Thus, it is non-differentiated infinity. Time then and with its space are transcended. I am devoid of root and rootlessness, and I am ever manifest. I am devoid of smoke and smokelessness, and am ever manifest. I am devoid of light and the absence of light, and am ever manifest. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence like the sky. Because I exist, which is knowable is known. The knowable being that which the consciousness is conscious of can only be known in awareness. This is not to say that there is a knower who knows, but that there is awareness that knows the consciousness as well as knowing the knower at the same time. The known being known only in the awareness by consciousness cannot otherwise be known or said to exist at all. The known therefore depends upon the fact that awareness is aware of that which the mind is conscious. How shall I speak of desirelessness and desire? How shall I speak of non-attachment and attachment? How shall I speak of him as devoid of substance and insubstantiality? I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence like the sky. Because the knowledge of all that exists depends on the pre-existence of a consciousness which can come to know the known. Even the knowing consciousness is preceded by pure awareness. Thus it follows that I am the source of existence. Yet in myself I am without form. Yet all forms flow from me, as does the existence of the consciousness. How shall I speak of the whole which is non-dual? How shall I speak of the whole which is of the nature of duality? How shall I speak of the whole which is eternal and non-eternal? I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. It is neither gross nor subtle. It has neither come nor gone. It is without beginning, middle and end. It is neither high nor low. I am truly declaring the highest reality. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. Know all instruments of perception to be like ethereal space. Know all of perception to be like ethereal space. Know this, pure one, as neither bound nor free. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. My child, I am not difficult to comprehend, nor am I hidden in consciousness. My child, I am not difficult to perceive, nor am I hidden in the perceptible. My child, I am not hidden in the forms immediately near me. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. I am the fire that burns the karma of the one who is beyond all karma. I am the fire that burns the sorrow of one beyond all sorrow. I am devoid of body. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogeneous existence, like the sky. I am the fire that burns the sin of the one who is sinless. I am the fire that burns the attributes of one who is without attributes. 
I am the fire that burns the bondage of the one who is without bondage. I am the nectar of knowledge, homogenous existence like the sky. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful words indeed. I feel we're going to pause it at that at verse 10. Such a bold and grand opening of chapter 3. I hope you're able to hear these verses again and to go deeper into their underlying meaning. So many gems in there. Leave me a comment and let me know how these words made you feel. Do share this with someone who you feel will enjoy joining this most profound of journeys. I look forward to seeing you on our continuing journey through the Avaduta Gita. Until next time, this is Akshananda signing off from the Himalayas with much love and light. Namaste.